Last on the agenda for the lines, fuel lines, brake lines, is getting these guys through and figuring out where's best inside here. But before I can determine that, looks like there's plenty of space in here, but I'm gonna work on these belly fairings. So it says to trim this with a little bit of a lip inside and this flush. So I was trying to figure out how to get an easy, consistent lip. So I took one of my super little skinny marker pens and I put a piece of tube over it. And this way I can just run it along there. Just like that. And we get a very consistent Probably about an eighth inch gap. I can always sand it down, but I'll probably trim that with the um, Juju Dremel tool. Cutting it with this guy would have taken way too long, so jigsaw in for the wing. Um, so yeah, trim those down. Um, pretty happy with them. I can still go a little bit lower. And uh, trying to figure out if I should center the cutout for the, the wheel strut or move it forward a bit. And I noticed that there's a, a crease in here, which I assume contours with the crease of, you know, with the front for the cage bends except i don't know if you can tell in the light in the camera but they're different they're off by half an inch so on the right fairing which is this one if you were to put it on the crease and a four inch gear leg would be perfectly centered like where these little blue lines are but i think i'm going to move it actually forward a so you don't see the crease on one side and not on the other because most of it will be cut out and B, it gives me a little bit more room for the tap, for the brake line that comes out underneath there. Um, and maybe it'll look a little better, who knows? So I just got them up there with tape. And I think I kind of got lucky. I'm gonna line them up with the inside of the, where the skin is here. And uh, something told me just to not cut it straight across in case I need a little bit of play. And I think if I were to have cut it straight across, then uh, I would have had a gap there. So obviously I'm still gonna fine tune it. Next I'll be positioning the screw holes, um, I gotta be honest, I really don't like the threaded rivets that they give you. It's the same ones that are in the headrests and I had one spin on me. So I'm gonna see if there's a better solution. Uh, probably not, but they also give you five for each side, which puts a middle one somewhere right in the middle. And uh, I've seen people do six, like three, I probably wouldn't be opposed to doing three 8.30 seconds because I got some better thread sets for 8.30 seconds. And uh, just uh, that'll kind of prevent the middle one from being right in here. But so far, pretty happy for first cut. Yeah, gonna just smooth that out and a little more trimming. Go get in there. All right, so my quest for getting this perfect edge here, um, the little pen trick with the tube on it, that worked great to mark it. 
then a lot of sanding with the just with the grinder getting it close and uh, now for the final finish I just put a piece of uh, eighth inch no not even maybe like sixteenth inch uh, acrylic double sided tape onto my little sanding stick and kind of run it along there and you can feel feel the high spots but looks like it comes out pretty pretty damn good so just got to work the last bit by, by hand but this way you have a consistent gap all the way around here and if you want it thinner obviously you can put a 16th in there or something I'm gonna start with this and see where we're at it sands pretty easily and here's my advice if you connect this edge to this edge with a, a straight edge of sorts keep the middle about an eighth of an inch higher because there's nothing to hold it so that kind of makes sure there's no gap I believe if you just go straight across you're gonna end up with a gap here which not a big deal but um, I, uh, I would whatever I kept by accident seems to work perfect so I recommend doing that and then these cutouts are four by one and then this is a quarter by three quarter uh, for the little uh, mounting brace for the uh, landing gear leg. All right, so the instructions say to use the dimples. I don't know if you can tell, but there's one dimple here, a slight dimple there, and one there kind of randomly placed, but I think they might just be from the, uh, the thermo forming. Um, doesn't line up with what they have here, but then the good one is locate five number 11 holes, take care to locate so as to miss fuselage tubes when installed. Well, obviously that makes sense, except uh, I already got my floor in and I have some double-sided tape and the insulation on there, so I don't actually know where those tubes are. <laughs> so, I don't know if you can see this, but what I did is I put blue tape because I know there's a tube here. This one I could see from the outside, so there's a tube there. Now I'm actually using a magnet to find the last two tubes that go forward. They all originate at this bolt, so that makes it easy. So I'm just putting some blue tape. Um, one would say obviously they just go alongside of these uh, rivets, but I don't know, I never know exactly when Oh, where? Yeah, so we got tabs there. But definitely have a spider web of tubes that goes this way. So that's my way of doing it. And I'll be able to place this guy on there. Oh. Wait, left side, left side. Yeah, so that guy sits something like that. I know where not to put holes. All right, the rest is fair game. Oh man, is the angle even good on the camera? Let's see. I will give you the formula. All right, pay attention. This is the left one from that side upside down and these are the areas where you cannot drill because you'll have interference my recommendation this is what i'm gonna do is six of them three on each side this one is in one and a quarter from this edge one and a quarter inches from this edge then you're gonna go six and a half, point to point, and then center it in here. And just for your information, this is like uh, seven eighths wide. So I usually go three, three eighths from the inside edge or half inch from the outer. All right, one and a quarter, six and a half, and then from here to here, six and a half. Same thing here, one and a quarter from edge to center here, six and a half to the center, six and a half to the center, 
and then this is whatever it is. But you can tell it, it misses all of the tubes. And that is lining this up with, you know, recessed a little bit with the outside part of this skin. And then the front follows the contour perfectly of, of where uh, the, the radius starts. So this one looks really close, so I'm just going to double check that one again on the uh, right side with a magnet. All right, back onto the belly. Um, so these are little magnets and they're very weak, so they're only going to basically stick on the center of it, of the, of the tube that's behind it. And here, if you line this up here with the outer skin and this literally where it arches in and then I compare, I made this little mark, this is right where the seam is. Um, I feel pretty confident that this one's going to clear, I guess. I could always move it over a little bit, but I'll double check it again in the morning. Because, uh, yep, once again it's past midnight. I've been on this plane since like 9 o'clock this morning and I'm tired and I don't want to mess this up. I'm really happy with how these came out and I don't want to do something dumb. So, good night. Measured it twice, measured it three times, measured it four times, double checked it, triple checked it, drilled the hole. So, Hopefully I'm right. those all drilled they fit nicely that did not come close to the tube inside did a little bit of work inside here actually a bunch of stuff ended up finishing the um, rotor return I put threaded uh, riv nuts nut plates in here again so you could unbolt this and then lift that up I put this back in got that back in and finally finished my brake lines. So these are the newer style brake lines, the shorter ones. And I really like the way those uh, fit so much better than wrapping up the old stuff. And I also got it underneath here. Got a nice 90, sorry, kind of upside down, nice 90 degree going right at the end of the cutout. So that looks pretty legit the way it's supposed to be. And uh, let me pop these panels on. Kind of reminds me of two big flat boobs. Or maybe I've just been spending too much time in the garage. Anyway, what they want you to use are these thread certs and I don't want to use them. I had them in the headrests on the seat and they stripped. I know there's one little tab, but what I like to use is this style which has this little knurled edge on there. And then they have some knurling underneath there too. But these are like zinc plated uh, or whatever, steel ones. So I'm gonna order a aluminum version of this. And uh, instead of 10 30 seconds, I'm actually gonna use six of the eight 30 seconds. Cause remember they only gave you five, now I have six holes. But uh, I'm really happy with the way the fit came out. I mean, all around here looks really really good i'm actually gonna because i edge formed the skin there i'm actually gonna probably take out a little bit more here so here depending on how thick the rim of the thread set is i, I can still take another 30 seconds or 16th off of that but um both sides fit 
really, really nice. So I'm super happy with that. I even did a little cutout for the uh, brake line there. Probably gonna square that off, but uh, yeah. A little bit of work, time consuming, but really happy. Um, I'm probably gonna end the belly fairing video here because I do not have these and we're going to Sun and Fun in a few days. And after that, I won't know what's up. Um, I think I said it earlier, but for those that are interested, this is one and a quarter inches from this edge to this edge, then six and a half and six and a half. And then the same thing here, one and a quarter from this edge to the center of this, center to center, six and a half, center to center, six and a half. And this is whatever it is. And I did mark where the skin overlap is and I just held them up to each other and they're kind of the same. So that worked pretty good. Hopefully it can help somebody. And uh, here's to some less aerodynamic drag. Anyway, good night.